banger. Yeah. Banger. I, I, I don't want to pick against either of these guys. So, um, uh, Charles Jordan against Lando Venata. Jordan 12 and 4 with one draw, and Lando Venata 12 and 5 with two draws. Uh, both 5 9. Uh, two inch reach advantage for Lando Venata. And so this, so that you got this off the uh, uh, UFC stats. Yeah. So, that, so they're both, uh, Jordan's listed as switch, Venata's listed as orthodox, but he does switch. He's predominantly orthodox, but I think that the reason why I mentioned that is because I think that's one thing that makes this fight quite interesting is they've both got different skills off different sides and they both, buy, both might have different solutions off different sides as well. So, like, if Venata switches to Southpaw, he might be looking to to kick the body of Jordan. But then if Jordan switches back to Orthodox, then, it, sorry, if he switches to Southpaw, then that changes that attack entirely. You know what I mean? So there could be there could be a lot of stand switching affecting the, 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 the combinations thrown in this fight. But they're both aggressive. Yeah. I, I, think, I think Venata is probably more... He's probably more towards the end of his career than Jordan, and Jordan's a, you know he's a bit of a risk taker as well. But I thought his striking looked a lot sharper in his last outing. Yeah, I like Jordan. I think he's um, he he's really good at applying pressure. Mm. Like he's not afraid to to close people down, and and but I think he's got he's got really good head movement. Like he. Um, his foot works really well when he closes distance. Reminds me a little bit of like, um, not some not not as close, but like Poirier, just that kind of like dipping but clo mm -hmm. closing closing yeah, yeah. range quite quite quickly. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I like the look of his striking for sure. I thought he, against against Andre Ewell, I thought he looked a lot a lot sharper. And you know his fight against Rojo was good as well. But like when he came into the UFC, so what was his his debut? Uh, Desmond Green, he was he was a little bit. He was trying a little bit too much to be a highlight reel finisher. You know, there were lots of times when he would take a big risk and he didn't mm. need to. And that that for me was always the the challenge for for Jordan because I mean, especially with his nickname being Air, like he wants those flying knee knockouts. Um, but but I, I mean, I think that I mean he made his his pro debut with a flying knee knockout. I, I think he's I think. I think he was a bit bound to his nickname, if that makes sense. And right. then you, you know he comes in, comes in against Andre Ewell and just walks him down and outpoints him for three rounds. I was that was probably his best performance to date, and that was being his last one. And then he's going in against Venata, who he will wrestle if he needs to, but most likely he's going to stand and trade punches. I feel like Jordan's going to show us another level to his game. I, I, I'm I'm a big fan of both of these guys, but I like Venata because of the wars and scraps that he's been in. I like Jordan because of the potential I can see in him. It's just a different, just a different thing. I've got to go with Jordan. I think he's, uh, I think he's gonna. It's gonna be difficult to stop. It'd be difficult to stop yeah. Venata. Yeah, I went with Jordan. Yeah, I just yeah. In his last fight against Yule, he looked wicked. Those yeah. low kicks as well. I think he he was kicking his, like just um. Just above the knee, and he made Andre Ewell's uh, thigh like bleed from those low from kicks. kicks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very, very rare that you hear of that that kind of thing happening. That's and that shows you how how good the target him was mm. of his kicks. Yeah, I just, I mean, Venata's he's, he's he's quite a slick striker, but I don't think he has the physical attributes to back him up in this one by comparison. Because I think Jordan is he's very slick. As you said, his head movement. There'll be times when Venata's throwing something and Jordan's going to be slipped and countered. And, and it's, I just think he's going to seem a lot faster. Like Venata's going to have to use wisdom to catch him with shots, whereas Jordan can use speed and reaction time. Yeah, I've got Jordan. I, th I think it'll be a decision because I think Venata's very difficult to stop. I was just looking. He's got... He's got... Uh, well, Tony Ferguson darsed him, but he did drop Tony Ferguson in the first round in that fight as well. Um, and then he, uh, yeah, that's the only time he's been stopped. All of his other fights are decisions. He was undefeated coming to the UFC, eight and oh. Jordan, yeah, uh, no, uh, oh, Vanata fought Tony Ferguson in his debut. I'm sure, it was a short notice one as well. Yeah, then he stopped McDessie with a wheel kick. That was badass. Yeah, because I know what well, I know, Jordan. Isn't every fight except his last fight? Um, every oh, sorry, every victory he's had before his last one, he'd finished every one. I think. Oh, is that right? Yeah, so that, that was yeah. that was his first decision. Oh yeah, hang yeah, on. eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight and three. Yeah, eleven. One decision. Yeah, jeez. Right. So yeah, two flying knee TKO and flying knee knockout in his first fight. 
Um, and it's and it's like a selection of rounds as well. It's not like it's, it's all first round uh, stopping. Like you stopped Damien Lapalus in the fifth round. That's a very impressive win. Like the Lapalus brothers are very good. Yeah, I'm 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 a, I'm a I think this one's going to steal the show as well. To be honest, yeah, I really do. Yeah, great fight.